Hello YouTube, my name is Patrick and this is my channel 1984. Today it's uh, Brain Drain game night, so I'm gonna be using my Power Mac G4 Sawtooth. So inside of the system we have the CPU here, we got the RAM and we got the graphics card and a 3D accelerator, we got the SATA card over here. The system has 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, PC100 and PC133 running at 100 megahertz. And over here we have the Power Mac G4 CPU. It's an 867 megahertz CPU running at 800, and that's because it's a 133 megahertz bus version running on a earlier board with a max bus of 100 officially. So it's modified to a multiplier of 8, which is the highest I can make it run at. And have two brand new fans. They are Sunons, I think, and they're basically the same as the Quicksilver fans, but they don't have the the temperature sensor, so they run at a fixed 2500 RPM. And the heatsink is also out of a uh, Quicksilver, and it's slightly modified here. It has a slight angle to it here. Mm, removed about five millimeters here, and uh, that's just so it clears the uh, optical unit when you close it. And uh, this CPU has uh, the 2 megabyte L3 cache. I have a, I have an 800 also without the L3 cache. And uh, this one is about 48% faster in uh, Quake uh, 3. And it's overall significantly faster than Snapier. So the L3 cache makes a big difference. So the graphics card is a modified GeForce 3 TI200. I actually made a video about modifying the TI uh, series of cards. The first one I modified was uh, one with 400 mesh RAM, and it seems to work until I turn up the settings in, to the max in Halo, which gave some artifacting despite a VMM mod. So I switched to this TI200, which actually has 500 mesh RAM. So it's basically a TI500 with a TI200 GPU. And to make this work in a Mac, I hardware mod it to identify itself as a GeForce 3 card. It's a resistor you can move. So you can switch between basically the TI200, the vanilla GeForce 3 and the TI500. And then I flashed it with the Mac BIOS. And uh, this one has been working flawlessly so far. No artifacting, no issues at all. Uh, behind the GeForce 3 card we have this uh, Voodoo 2. It's a creative blaster. And the reason I picked this particular card was the drivers for that card actually works very well in a virtual uh, uh, Windows 98 machine where you can pass this card through and then you run the native uh, Windows drivers. And this was the, was the most stable configuration. It also obviously allows for uh, Mac OS 9 to use the VD2 card for games that needs that. So it's a good complement to the GeForce 3 card. And behind that, like I said, we have a SATA card as a SIL 3114 card modified with a BIOS for Mac, so it can run OS X. In here we have the SSD for the for OS uh, X, and there's also one below here with the ID to SATA adapter for OS 9, because the SIL card can't, uh, with the current BIOS, can't uh, support OS 9. So we've got two of them, and there's also a fan in the bottom here, a blowhole basically, to pump cold air into the case and this works as an exhaust and so does the new power supply which is a Corsair CX550M and the reason why I picked that uh, is because it uh, lines up with the uh, rear holes here and also like I said uh, why I shaved off the CPU cooler is for so it passes here also this uh, holder here for the front base it's actually from a Quicksilver case, so uh, this is not the SOT from the SOT Q case. Also this piece here, that goes here, and this fan holder is from the Quicksilver. And that's just to make more room for the bigger CPU cooler. So here we can see the SSD and the Marvel ID to SOT adapter. It's a very nice one, you can buy them on eBay. And they're a little more expensive than the cheap ones, they're about 25 euros. But they're well worth it, they support motor slave, cable select. You can run two of them on the same cable, I ran two of them on, in this, on this cable here for testing, works fine. Then I made an adapter here, so we can use any 8x power supply. Just a couple of wires are switched uh, positions on the motherboard, of the SOT2 motherboard. 
So the power supply meets or exceeds other specification of the old ones. And the new CPU also runs of this uh, runs of 12 volts, so it actually has its own wire here, like you would basically find on your motherboard, on your PC. So it's converted to basically 12 volts instead of the suck, uh, sucking 5 volts. I think the old CPU does from the socket it doesn't have any dedicated 12 volt line, so you have to hook up your own wires for it. So here you can see the power supply. Had to really didn't have to modify anything. I did cut this. Uh, top lip off like you have here like this uh, thing sticking out just because it was touching uh, when you turned it off it was touching here I didn't really like that touching the button so I removed that but that's kind of optional so it's kind of nice with this uh, this particular Corsair power supply it lines up very nicely with the uh, with the old uh, cutouts in the plastic so you don't have to cut everything out like I see a lot of people do so that's pretty nice and yeah, we can see the VGA pass through for the Buddha 2, and there's also an extra USB 2.0 card in it. It's quite nice because it's limited to two USB 1.1 ports, something like that. So they're really slow, but this allows me to use like external hard drives, optical units I can burn or read discs real fast. Otherwise, it takes hours to install like a DVD game or something, burn it, and then install it. So if you would like to join us on uh, our Brain Drain game nights, you can check out our social media page. It's uh, braindrainlawn.tk. You can check, out, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Discord. And I would uh, recommend the Discord link. So you can get help setting up the games for your retro computer or your modern computer. You can get help with uh, choosing a game client and so on. And obviously find out how, where the servers are, how you join them. So uh, I think we're gonna have uh, next brain drain game night uh, second uh, second of October. So like probably a week from when this video gets up. So yeah, check that out and join us. the fucking weapon. <laughs> so fucking stupid of me. Remember, there's a lot of team killing going on in this game. Team yeah. one, win. Yeah. Very easy to kill your own. <laughs> nice. As it should be. Camera! Action! Uh, yeah, it keeps changing all the time. Oh. Ah, the bastards! <laughs> and my optical mouse didn't work either. Uh, for some reason, when I use it, it can only move the. Uh, Horizontally, I think that doesn't work, so I had to get the node wall mask for you as well. Yeah. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh. I like it. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got a dual wielding pistol, thank you. This is so fucking great. <laughs> this game's awesome. Come on, no fucking ammo. What the fuck? Ah. Oh, there we go. Camera! Action! Okay. Alright. I'm gonna use the sniper rifle now, so let's see how that works. <laughs> Not oh, oh, need a bandage. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, God. Oh, fuck no, me. For my big oh, there we go. Uh -huh. oh. 
Camera! I couldn't uh, think that maybe I... Uh... What? Taking <laughs> three rounds. I think you can drop from bigger heights in Counter Strike, though, without taking damage. Uh, possible. To be honest. Game two, win. You just quick click comes from the control. Let's see. Action. Act mode V. That's the shit. Game two, win. Camera! Action! I'm at Yeah, you ran backwards into me. <laughs> There's a fucking skill to die in this game by team. Oh. Teammates. <sighs> it's like, oh, I'm gonna save you, and he runs backwards into me. I have, I have two I negative strikes now. So. Yeah, camera. I got one negative for dying on Action. the roof, falling down, and then I got one negative for yeah, running back into my shells. I have such mad skills. Of course. Go! Oh. Good job, dude. <laughs> Train to fly like horse on the Yeah. I actually jumped out on the uh, the lamp post, but no. Just slid oh, off. Yeah. The camera right. again. Action! Oh, there we go. Not my fucking weapon. What the? Fuck? Hello, guys. Oh, hello, is that me? What's up? Holy oh, 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 crap! Kill somebody next. Oh. Yeah, I've been trying all night. <laughs> Not going well. Okay, okay, let's do this again. Oh, what? Ah, that's quick. Stop killing me in my app. Ah, what the Thanks. Where the 
fuck is shooting me now? Is it your teammates? Is it oh. your enemies? No one I else. I don't know. It feels like both. Gang bang. Gang bang. Goodbye. Oh. I am using a mask for And you're pro. I get shot, and because of that, I slide off the edge and die from fall damage. Yeah. Great. That's great. <laughs> okay. Which uh, part it is? Uh, I can just. Uh... At PDM or DM. Die. TDM. Yeah. Uh, I fucking goddamn win. son of a. Uh, what do you do? Uh, uh, you die. <laughs> you, you, know, you, know, you know the little. Action. You have like the top of your knee, and then you have like the pointy bottom. Bony bit of your knee, and then I, I, I stub right below that against my computer. Uh, yeah, right on the nerve. Oh, but I don't There you are an action play. 15 crouch with your M4. <laughs> Incredible action. What the hell, Violent stop it. Slide it. Like the oh, spinning gun. I'm, <laughs> like, like, uh, I'm taking the train. I'm taking the train. I'm taking the train. Oof. Camera. Hope you got some skills, bud. Action. Yeah. Good luck and such. Uh, when you don't have to get back. <sighs> Need to go on the fucking elevator. If you want to follow us, you can go to our social media webpage, braindrainlan.tk, and pick your favorite platform. Link is in the description. You can join us on our Discord server. We host public LANs when possible and game nights on our server hosting many old classical multiplayer games like Quake, Counter Strike and much more. Or you can show off your own retro LAN or maybe visit our members private LAN parties. We have a galleries, benchmark channels where you can post images, videos of your retro hardware and your scores and much more. So come and join us and share your retro experience with us. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.